What's good, YouTube? Back again with another video. And today's video has nothing to do with jerseys, has nothing to do with sneakers, has nothing to do with sports. So this is a totally different topic for me. I usually stick within those topics on my channel, but this video is gonna be completely different, all right? So in today's video, what I'm gonna tell you is my everyday travel bag, tech bag, tech, etc., stuff like that. I also put in the video a travel bag that I usually travel with, especially if I wanna bring a couple of sneakers on the trip, you know, a nice little getaway with the family or the wife or etc. Now, I am filming with my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I haven't upgraded to the 13 yet. I probably won't because to me, the camera isn't a big enough difference. That's usually where I'm sold at the most because I love taking pictures of my kids, of my family, of my jerseys, of my sneakers. I have a huge photo library. I actually purchased the biggest iCloud storage you possibly can. I also have family sharing, so that's a whole nother thing. But in doing so, it enables me to put as much videos and as much photos as I want. I have over 50,000 photos and videos on my iPhone alone. And what's great about iCloud is you could take it with you on your iPad, on your MacBook, on your computer. So that's pretty cool in itself. So let's get right into it. What I'm gonna do is show you my, now is my son's phone. My three-year-old son has an iPhone, but this is the phone he usually watches his YouTube kids on, stuff like that. But I'm gonna show you a video from this phone so you guys can see what the iPhone 12 looks like and what my setup looks like, all right? So everybody say hi to the camera. All right, now on the iPhone, you see a little miniature Rode mic. So to upgrade the audio for my videos, and shout out to somebody who gave me pretty constructive advice. He just mentioned, hey, listen, if you could grab a microphone for your videos, please do so. So that's what I'm doing here. I added this microphone. It's pretty dope. It's about 50, 60 bucks. It's used for the iPhone in particular, but you can get a USB-C one. And if you have a USB-C phone, you can get that one as well, all right? Now, I have three home pods in my house. This is one for the sneaker room. I have one in my bedroom. I have one in the living room. So that's something I also have in the house. I also have a ring light. So you guys can get a little bit better lighting and then you see the light up there as well. And then shout out to my boy Rez because he gave me a great idea. I'm actually going to do a room tour and I'm gonna show you all the individual sneakers. I'll show you some of the jerseys, etc. But you guys get a little bit of a sneak peek what this sneaker room looks like, all right? So enough of this phone. We're gonna now come back to you here. So if you guys don't know, I actually started a tech channel about 10 years ago. I didn't have enough time to put into it as much as I liked, but I love technology. I love the fact of having a smart home. If I can have like an Iron Man type of house, I would, that's just something dope. I wanna tell Siri, hey, make my coffee, and she starts brewing up my coffee. That's how I wanna get it at some point. So yeah, so I started that channel. I had about five videos. One was actually a really good video and did pretty good numbers, but I just stopped doing it. And then funny enough, in 2018, or whatever year I started to do the jerseys and sneakers, I got into that, but pretty much tech, sneakers, sports, have always been a passion of mine, so that's something that I just want to put out there first, all right? Now, let's get to this travel bag. So, this is a sole premise bag. I actually bought this when this company first released, and they used to have really, really uh, awesome discounts. They still do, but I don't need a 1,000 of these bags. I have this bag, and then I have one that does the four sneakers. But this bag is pretty dope for you sneakerheads because you can put sneakers in this compartment here. You can put sneakers in this compartment here. Or you could put clothes and put one sneaker here. What I typically do is wear a pair of sneakers that I like or I want to wear for that weekend. And I may bring one more. And then the other compartments I just put with clothes. And then you have your tech items here. And I'm going to show you some of the tech stuff that I bring with me every day. Whether it's on a getaway trip or sometimes even at work. I'll bring this with me every day because I do spend a lot of hours at work, especially during the winter and the summertime. So I'm in the truck waiting for jobs to come in because there's always usually emergency work coming in. So there's that, all right? So the first thing I'll show you is my 2000 and I believe 16 MacBook Pro. This is the one with the touch bar. So that's how long ago, whenever that first came into play, I bought this one. It's still going pretty strong. Eventually, I'll move on to a smaller one because I don't like a laptop this big. I believe this is the 15 or 16 inch. So, 
but this is the MacBook Pro with the USB-C cables, etc. And that's that. Now, my favorite device is my iPad Pro. I have the pencil. I'm really corny with it. I usually get all the accessories as well. Here you have the attachment on the keyboard. You have the Magic Keyboard is what they call this. But this is my favorite device, period. Even more so than the phone. I actually try to be on my phone as least as possible. Unless I'm scrolling through Instagram. But usually I'm on this on YouTube. I'm usually on this on my web browser. So this is my main device, period. My favorite device, I can edit videos on this. I can do so much on this, and I love it. I also get them connected. The first year the iPad came out, I actually bought it with the Wi-Fi only, and that was a mistake. The next year and every year after that that I purchased the iPad, I always get them connected because I love the fact that this is connected. You could take this with you. Yo. <laughs> so tell you how wild I used to be. I used to always carry a tech bag, all right, for years now especially since around the iPad time, that iPad era. So I used to have a hotspot. Remember those hotspots? You'll like turn it on, you'll connect to it. And it just, you know, them shits will get hot. It was the worst. So thankfully Apple now made it integrated into the iPads. So now we have cellular technology, all right? I do need to upgrade. Like I said, this is the 2018 or the newest version has 5G now, has a better screen. So eventually I will upgrade, but that's where it's at. We have another iPad Pro, all right? Now, this is really for my kids. It's also connected as well. So if I'm traveling with the kids, we're going on a road trip, this is what they would be watching. They'd watch this. I could also plug this in and put this in my entertainment system in the car because my car has like a drop-down TV. So I could do that as well. And they could watch some movies. I'll download movies on Disney+. Plus. I'll download movies that I bought already through Apple. And they could just watch the movie while in the vehicle. So that's pretty cool. All right. So now we're going to get to a very important part of our devices in general is the charging. All right. So when I'm traveling, and I usually use this at work as well, but definitely while traveling, I like to bring one of these with me. So I plug it in, obviously, and... And now I have a whole bunch of different ports. I have a whole bunch of different USB-C. And now I can plug in all my devices. And it's just convenient. So I can plug in my phones, usually with these, or my iPad. And then on these, I could plug in my laptops or etc. I mean, you guys get the gist of what I could plug in. But this is a very important piece to all of this. All right. So that's one. Now, chargers. Okay. I have a shitload of chargers. Honestly, the best charger you can buy is usually the Apple charger. Uh, they actually last the longest. But Anchor has some great chargers. You can get those on Amazon. Uh, even Amazon itself has some pretty good chargers. So charging cables, that is. So you can get those as well. So typically, I'm usually rocking with one of those three, Amazon, Anchor, or Apple chargers. But chargers are important. Now that we have USB-C iPads, USB-C MacBooks, and we still carry Lightning on the iPhone. So I have a mixture of chargers there, all right? So I can't really show you how it looks on the phone, but I do have an Apple case, and I have a bunch of these. For some reason, I always switch them out because I'm a psycho. So this charger is great, especially for when you're going out all day, all right? Especially if you want to take a lot of pictures. I'll give you a perfect example, like Apple picking or like pumpkin picking or like my family's going to be going to Santa land soon. I'm going to take the whole family out there and I know we're going to shoot a lot of pictures. It may be a long wait time. Great adventures is another great place to have something like this. This slaps on the new iPhone 12s and the new iPhone 13s and you got your juice right there. All right. I also have another brand. Sometimes the wife or my son needs some juice. So I have another brand as well. And it does pretty much the same thing. This one charges the iPhone a little faster. So that's pretty cool too. And then I have an Apple dual charger. This is great for traveling. And especially if you have an office desk, buy one of these. You have your Apple Watch. Put the Apple Watch on this side. And then you could put the iPhone on this side. And there you have it. So now you have your nice little setup. I actually take this with me traveling as well. And what's good about this is it takes one plug, but it charges two devices with just one plug. 
So can't go wrong with that. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Just to show you how nuts I am, I also have a MagSafe charger. So there's that. Uh, I also have a whole like <laughs> school was this pencil holder of chargers. I have wireless chargers here. So I'm pretty sick with the charging. But yeah, so that's that. All right. Now, speaking of MagSafe, while we're still on that topic, so I have, and this is something I would only recommend for people who are going out with your lady or going out with your wife or whatever. You don't want to bring your wallet. So I usually bring my ID and one debit card here, and then I slap it on the phone, and then that's it. That's it. That's all I need is this, and then, of course, your house keys. You just have to be a little careful that this doesn't come off. It's not easy for it to come off, but you just want to be super careful because you never really want to lose your wallet. They also made a wallet that if it disconnects, it gives you a notification. So I would probably end up getting that one just for safety. And yeah, this is the Apple wallet. Again, I hate having pockets filled with a bunch of shit. So this is a good alternative. All right. So I got to show you another thing that's very uh, convenient and safety related. So I have my wallet here, right? This little thing is called an AirTag, right? So I put one on my wallet. I put one on my car key, all right? So these AirTags are awesome. This is my car fob. And right now I'm driving the Honda 2022 Pilot. It's the super soccer mom vehicle, but it's spacious. I was actually thinking about getting a Tesla. I was this close to going to a Tesla dealership, but at the end of the day, there wasn't a Tesla big enough for space. I'll get a Tesla, but as of right now, I got the soccer mom vehicle holding it down. It's a good enough car. I'm not really a super car guy, so, but I do like enough technology within the car and it does its job. It's got wireless charges. It's got all the safety features and Apple CarPlay, everything that I would need. This thing is an AirTag and I'll tell you how good it is. All right. So at work, I have to wear a different set of clothing. All right. Now, this clothing has to be treated a certain way. So I can't wash my own clothes. So all of us put our clothes into a hamper and then it gets treated by a separate company. You want to make sure the flame retardant within the clothes is there. All right. That's going to be a part of my safety if ever I get hit with a flame or a burst through the electricity. So after a work shift, especially if I got into some dirt and some mud and it's disgusting out there, I put my clothes into the hamper, all right? Now, one day, I left my wallet. So I left my wallet in my jeans. I put the jeans into the hamper, and then I'm driving home. So I'm driving home now. I'm about maybe a block or two away. I get a notification on my Apple CarPlay, which is going to my iPhone, and it's telling me I left my wallet. So I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, damn, I got to turn back around. I go back and I knew where I left it, obviously. And with your iPhone, you can ping it and play music with it and pinpoint exactly where it's at to the exact point of where it's at. It'll actually guide you. It'll even tell you if you're right next to it. So this saved me from having a weekend of a headache because if those jeans would have went to the company, then my card is lost, my ID's lost. So I'd have been screwed. All right, that's just one scenario where this Apple AirTag came out super convenient. And of course, I put one in my Apple TV remote. I always lose those things, man. So I have a couple of Apple TVs in the house and I always lose the remote. So I bought one for the Apple TV remote and it's one of the best things I ever did. Hold on, let me check my dogs. All right, so now we're back. So I have a ring camera set up around the house and every time one of those things go off, my dogs go nuts. I have one dog, but I'm babysitting my mother-in-law's dog as well. So they're like a crazy combination. Okay, let me get my breath. All right, so now we move on to headphones, okay? <laughs> man, I, I, I tell you, man, I'm, I'm into this stuff. It's not just sneakers and, uh, and uh, jerseys. I'm into a lot of things. First and foremost, I'm, I'm not a cocky dude. I know I have confidence in myself, but I'm not a cocky person. 
I'm very grateful to be able to obtain some of these things because it's something to be grateful for and thankful for. So, but anyway, enough of that. We have the Apple AirPods Max, okay? Now, people think I'm nuts for purchasing $500 headphones. I love these things. If you're in the Apple ecosystem and you enjoy music, this is a no-brainer. Especially if you have an opportunity to wear these throughout your day. Some people take the train for an hour to go to work. These are it, man. These are it. These are great. I love these so much. Apple AirPods for sure, right? Now, I got these years ago, but these are the wireless headphones. So, these are the ones that wrap around the ear. You know, the joints like LeBron had. These are great for the gym. That's the first reason that I bought them. All the AirPods and the stuff in the ear, they would always fall out of my ear. These are the only ones that stood in because they wrap around your ear. So these are dope. I got the AirPods Pro. Now, these are great for just talking around the house. What I like about these, I could talk on the phone and do something. So I don't just have to be on the phone uh, kind of not being productive. So I could clean with these. I could fold clothes. I could do anything. I could be downstairs reorganizing this room. But with these, it gives me the opportunity to do so because it keeps my hands free. So that's the reason why I love these right here. And then I just bought these. It's the Beats earbuds. These don't have as much features as these. But if you have one phone or one device you want to connect these to, these are just as good as these. If you understand what I'm saying. So me, I have a bunch of devices. So I literally could be on my iPhone, open my iPad, and it'll automatically switch knowing that my iPad is nearby. And then I'll play something on my iPad, and this will be on my iPad. These don't do that. So for features, these definitely are a better choice. That's if you have all the Apple products. If you don't, go with these. These are dope. So that is the headphones. Okay, uh, I keep a flashlight, believe it or not. So it's usually for work, uh, especially if I'm working at night. Uh, I have to look inside a manhole and I need to take a look at it from the top. I'll just do this. But this is convenient for anybody. You want to keep one of these in your car. This is a chargeable uh, flashlight as well. So a micro USB charger. So you want to keep this inside your car, you know, for safety reasons. You can never go wrong with a flashlight, nice and portable. So that is that. In my backpack, I keep a back scratcher. <laughs> this sounds corny, but let me tell you, first off, I have the world's shortest arms, all right? So that is what it is. Uh, but, and then I have the world's largest back. My back to arm ratio is no good. <laughs> So, I have to take one of these with me, and funny enough, it's so convenient, man. So convenient. Cleaning cloths. Believe it or not, this is one of my favorite items. What nice little wipe up, clean up your iPhone, your, you know, whatever device you're using. So, always have one of those. This is uh, my work phone. I don't care about it. So, there's that. And then, last but never least is my car chargers. So I have a bunch, but this is the main one I use. I usually use it during uh, work. So um, I don't even use it during the car. I have one, I have a separate one in the car anyway, but I would use this during work. And I would have a USB-C cable for my iPad and then a lightning cable for my iPhone, etc. All right. And I think that is that, bro. So as you guys can see, I'm a tech guy and you know, I'm just trying to open up a little bit more, uh, show you a little bit more different videos. I know this won't be a video my regular fans probably would like or enjoy, but I wanted to throw this out here because it's a little bit of a part of me. It's what I do every day. And uh, Aria, come here. Say hi to the people. Come here, girl. Uh, so it's what I do every day. Uh, so yeah, man. On that note, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we out. Peace.